everyone, my name is Sharon Montoya. I'm your savvy stylist, owner of Styling with Sharon Montoya, and I'm here today to bring you my simple seven style hacks that any woman can apply to her wardrobe on a daily basis that you can implement tomorrow and really learn to rock your style game. So stay tuned as I bring you my seven simple tips. So the first tip I wanted to bring to you guys today is mixing patterns. So for me, the rule of thumb is two. You can mix two patterns. If you know how to do it right, you can really change the way your appearance looks and really look put together. So you can see today I have on two patterns. I have this floral pyramid print and then I paired it with a collette. So the rule for me is to, if you're going to make one statement print, that for me is going to be the florals then pair it with something a little more subtle, like the simple stripes on this collet. You don't want two competing patterns, you want them to really work well together. My rule is two, I wouldn't go three or four patterns unless you really know how to style your pattern game, but two always works well for me, so that's my first simple tip for you. So my second style hack that I have for you today and world that I love and I think we've all heard it before is always have your LBD on hand. So what is an LBD? It's a little black dress. Today I have the Chelsea, which is the cold shoulder dress. It is very a simple cut dress. It's straight cut. So it's one that's really fun to accessorize and you can belt it. So the accessory that I paired it with today is just one of our cast scarves. So black is really great because it's fun to accessorize. There's really no rules to it. You can do something simple like just a different colored scarf. You can even pair it with a bright colored cardigan. Or one thing that I love that I see all the time is when ladies pair it with like red or pink pumps. That looks really, really cute. I had this dress on yesterday and I had it paired with some animal print booties and it was just something simple that had my statement piece. So always have your little black dress because you really you can't go wrong with a little black dress. So tip number three today is to invest in some good denim. So I paired my favorite pair of denims today. I have the Tates on and I love these. These are my black straight legged denim. They have a little nice accent right here to really draw attention to it. And I also, of course, you gotta have blue denim, right? Gotta have your blue jeans. And a trait that is in right now is to have the ruffled edges. So the cut off jeans is definitely in style and it's perfect for spring. So invest in some good denim because it will never go out of style and it's something that is easy to pair when you're in a hurry you don't have a lot of time to really put into what you're going to wear that day go for the denim on a cute top you can't go wrong so my next style hack is one that please don't run from it it's not that scary we can all get through it know your measurements so if you don't know how to measure yourself you can google how to measure yourself you can go to my VIP group and if you go to the albums, I have a little graphic that shows you how to measure yourself. And even if you go to my shopping app, shopwithsharon.com, if you click size chart, it'll tell you how to measure yourself and give you a size chart specific to that item that you are looking at so you can really get the size that fits you right. Another great thing about Savvy is our clothes are really, really versatile so you can play around a little bit and size up and size down. For example, this is oversized. This is not my true to size. This is my true to size, but I have this top oversized and I really love it because it gives it a little extra length so I can wear it to leggings. But knowing your size is super, super important. It prevents you from looking frumpy because I know that's a look that nobody wants to pull off. So if you ever have any questions about measuring yourself, feel free to ask me, hit up Google, hit up my VIP group. You will really change your style and build your confidence when you're wearing clothes that fit you properly. So my next trick is know what monochromatic is and fall in love with it. It is a classic style that will never go out of style and it can really give you a very put together look. So monochromatic is simple. It's just the same color head to toe. Now I'm not talking about pulling off some bright pinks or some bright oranges, but going something a little more subtle that will turn heads. So for example, two different tops and styles. This is the Rockefeller and this is our Cheshire but this is a monochromatic look that's not too bright doesn't draw too much attention but monochromatic is fun to accessorize 
And there's a lot of really cute ways to do that. A go-to is always a dress. So this is the Hudson dress. And this was one that was on sale for Christmas, so a lot of you did snag it. But this is a fun dress to accessorize. You can wear it with the belt. Looks really cute with some long statement jewelry. So know what monochromatic is. Don't run from it. Don't be afraid to wear the same color head to toe. It really does give you a very put together look and really makes you stylish. So my next simple trick is one we have all heard, one we all see worn all the time, and that is black and white. Don't fear the black and white. You can either do this with just solid black and white, which is really classic look, or you can wear a black and white striped is really, really cute. However you want to do it, don't fear it. So I really, really like this one of my favorite white tops because it's simple, it's comfortable, but it has just enough detail to give us some really cute style. And I would pair this with a pair of our Zara. These are really, really comfortable, stretchy sock material. So it's a very put together stylized look that is really, really simple to pull off. And again, like monochromatic, it is classic and it will never go out of style. So don't fear the black and white. So on my last style trick is know how to accessorize. Don't over accessorize. If you're gonna go with big dangly earrings, go with the more simple necklace and vice versa. Also, if your jewelry is very loud, don't pair it with a loud purse. So really know how to accessorize if you can really change your look. My go-to accessory is a very long chain necklace. I love a long chain necklace with a very solid top. It gives it just enough bling to really give me a styled and put together look. And another trick, long jewelry, if you're short, will add height. Or if you're like me and you want to slim yourself out, it adds a slimming effect. So that is one simple go-to accessory trick that I love. Don't overdo it. Subtle is sometimes best, but definitely don't fear your statements. Just don't make too many statements with your accessories. So thanks for watching my simple style tricks. I hope you learned something new. All of these are just really simple tricks that you can apply to your wardrobe. You don't have to have a big budget. You don't have to be fancy and you don't have to have be of a certain size to really style some adorable outfits. So message me if you ever have any questions about these tips or tricks. Also, don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram with the tag at Sound with Sharon Montoya. If you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe. It helps my videos be seen and helps me to keep making them. So that is all that I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching.